what up? D here. It's uh, Monday, October 9th. I have the day off from work. Gonna hit up 508 International in Charlton, Massachusetts. Uh, just things I've been working on or I gotta work on. I feel like uh, I'm getting slower. Uh, I went sandbox yesterday, so I'm trying to get some speed back. I haven't been practicing too much Moto-ish style stuff and I've been jumping around on bikes, so I, I haven't really adapted to one or the other. You know, I've been racing one here and the other one there, and um, which is good. It means I can jump on any bike and, and ride it, but I don't feel 100% comfortable on either at the moment. So going to 508, gonna meet up uh, a buddy, Tyler. I haven't ridden with him in over a year anyway. He's who kinda started me into the J days with my friend from friends from Vermont, but uh, also meeting Daryl and uh, some other people there. Brett might be there, meet him. Um, yeah, just going to have fun. I'm kind of sore from Sunday, yesterday at the sandbox. I only did three motos, but they were like 20 minute motos and the sand seems to kill you like no other for some reason. But I'm uh, just gonna go work on some basics today. Gonna do some sprint uh, motos. I'm gonna maybe toy around my with my suspension. BA, Billy Ainsworth, gave me some guidelines to try and uh, I'm gonna make some adjustments on the high speed compression on the shock, I think. I'm gonna try with that. We'll see how it feels. I know they changed a couple things at 508, but uh, I don't think it's that drastic. So we'll, I know the track, we'll just kinda get after it. Uh, but uh, anyway, I plan on getting you guys some good, great footage today. Um, maybe do a double GoPro going on two different views two different people me and tyler or something i don't know or daryl but um yeah stay tuned we're gonna hit it up and try to get through this like slow slump i feel i'm going slow so let's work on some speed all right later Yeah, at 508, um, had a great day today practicing. I got the feel back, trying to work on some speed, like I was saying, and uh, Tyler and I were playing cat and mouse. This uh, session, he wanted to chase, so I, I led. We're gonna do a lap at 508. The track was mint, has nice ruts. Uh, all, all the things about it today were perfect, so. Um, this is the new entrance or the entrance if you haven't been here in a while you grease this little tabletop into this um, up gradual dragging back to this right hander on the downside I was taking the inside no we know no reason to go to the outside over there then hitting this small double curving this left hander before the big table and greasing that as best as I can the 250 oh, she's hard to get over this thing the distance but I just don't have the balls to stay tapped on it hit this single that single then the right hand turn here there's two lines Tyler and I were kind of trying to figure out which one was faster um, I think he was going outside to inside I was going inside to outside I think his line choice was better hitting these two really short tables overshooting them this section I was struggling with this off camber left well not off camber with the left hander like skidding out to the step down I can't grease that step down either. This is the big triple that I wouldn't even think about hitting at this point in my life, but it's there. The right hander, I was taking the inside. I usually take the outside, but inside seemed to be preferred for me today. And then this left hander down the bottom of the hill, I was trying to line up this inside where the hump was. And this also on the 250F was hard to, to grease that thing. And then this straightaway pff, BA has me covered there. Billy Ainsworth, God bless you. You are my savior. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My bike is on clouds. It's like a cloud candy. Hitting that right left hander on this table, the washboard, I don't even feel on this bike. I was working on this rut right here, that right hander. I'm very hesitant on uh, entry speed, but I was working on that. Now they have the straightaway, so you hit that table and hit the single. I can get like fourth gear down to this, and this this was a nice rut to another straightaway. Then they added like a single there, and there's that. That's one lap at 508 International. 
Uh, today I was working on sprint speed, kind of. Tyler was pushing, so I don't know about you all, but I really prefer to ride with a buddy that uh, is either faster or, or whatever, just anybody that's like close in speed because you feed off each other. Tyler is gonna pass me shortly and uh, when he passes me, the intention or my instinct is just to try to latch on to him and some people you can latch on if it's your day you can pass them back but uh, trying to latch on to people is awesome and like being behind or in front is cool in two different ways this guy I don't even, I didn't know catch who that was but he blew by me like nothing pretty fast that's for sure um, so with Tyler he hasn't rid moto in a long time look at that he landed that triple sick um, so he hasn't rode, ridden moto in a long time and uh, or much at all. He's doing Netras and I haven't been riding a whole lot of moto. I've been doing sand pit shit and some woods, but going to tracks and paying. I mean, I went to Sandbox yesterday, but that was a mud fest. Everything's been mud lately. Uh, today was good exercise for me to get comfortable on the bike because this is kind of like a highway and uh, it's technical too. A lot of jumps. I haven't had this YZ250F on a jumpy track since I had the suspension done. So it's kind of set up for wood slash moto. I'm in between. But like I said, Billy Antsworth hooked it up. It's it's flawless. I didn't adjust. I was going to adjust the clicker. I didn't even adjust one because it felt good. I knew what it was going to do. But um, yeah, I mean, I was just having a lot of fun trying to like get these lines. And I want to say this is my third or fourth moto. Uh, there were time today. There were only 15 minutes because there's so many people here, you know, having the day off on Monday. So they were sectioned off the groups. This is A, B, and um, I started getting more comfortable as the day progressed. So that's a good thing. At least I wasn't turning to shit. The first moto, I didn't feel good out there. And then the second moto, I started getting it. And then third moto, I felt like I was cranking pretty good. So these first two laps I'm doing here, I'm not... I'm not getting on it as much as I wanted to, but once Tyler passed me and uh, I was trying to keep up with him, obviously I, I upped the ante and, and you know from watching any of my videos, I tend to do that. There's more in the tank, I just don't know why. I can't pull it out whenever I want. <laughs> so we're working on it. Turns like this, I'm struggling. I feel like I'm slow as dog there, but I'm not going terrible. So. What do you want? I, I beat myself up about a lot of things, but I can always go faster. That's what I I want to chase. You're never, us motor riders, we're never happy with, with everything. So we had a good ride. I had a great ride today, but I could have done this, for instance, this inside turn. I could have been on the gas real hard right now, hit the single and shift third for this and jump it and land in that pocket every time and then maybe tap fourth here. But hey, you know, maybe one lap out of, whatever 30 that i did today that's the case but the consistency is key for me so i'm trying to be consistent and not go down but that that's it uh, i'm gonna let you continue to watch this without me babbling like and su subscribe to the channel please help me get some more subscribers i'm trying to go to the j day this weekend at mohawk i think it's mohawk if if all works out i may be there but that's totally not in my comfort zone and I'll be on this YZ for sure. Unless it's a mud bog, I won't go. But anyway, I'll catch you later. Peace.